Hello beautiful people and welcome to your November Tarot Forecast with me Julie Paul. Thank you so much for being here. Those of you who don't know me, I'm Julie Paul, a hypnotherapist, a professional intuitive healer, Reiki master, author, a few other bits. The link is below in the description box if you want to find out more including how to book in with me and also the links to your annual 2022 general forecast and your love forecast, they are only available to purchase on my website. The link is below. Anything else I want to tell you, yes, this is good for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus, and your cross-watching. And I do suggest you watch particularly your sun and your rising to get a fuller picture, and then add the others in if you would like to. All right, without further ado, let's get into the readings for each of the 12 signs. Hi Sagittarius, welcome to November. How are you? Are you well? Let's see what the messages are for you for this month. All right, so from the angels, we have success. Yay, that's a lovely card. All right, let's see what else we have. What's the theme for this month, please? Treasure Island, wow. Two really positive cards here for you, Sagittarius. Uh, so, Treasure Island, moving towards your abundance, easier times, better times, more flow, more richness in life. Success is all around you. You are like a little magnet here. I'm seeing coins kind of coming towards you, which is representing you are being a magnet for abundance and flow, not just financially, but in terms of the life becoming richer. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Those are very good cards. Okay, so coming out here, the first card's out. Six of Wands, which is success, recognition. So we're having a repeated message here. We've got the Hanging Man with the High Priestess in the middle. The Seven of Cups. The Nine of Wands. The Five of Coins. Let's find out some more, please. Another three. Okay, that'll be the three. We have the Nine of Swords, Judgment and Death. Okay, one, two, three, four major arcana cards here. A lot of power. Right, so we've got the central energy here, the Nine of Wands. So this is the battle-weary soldier struggle. Life's been hard, life's been tough for you, and particularly the last five or six months. It's Mm, it feels as if you've been treading water or walking through treacle. It just has felt hard work, all right? And it has created some anxiety, Nine of Swords. We've got the Nine of Wands with the Nine of Swords, some sleepless nights, concerns about the future. What am I going to do? I'm uncertain. I can't see clearly. The High Priestess is what is hidden, what's under the surface, what don't I know? But as we uh shift this energy towards success here in the treasure island and this beautiful energy that you are moving yourself towards as you approach your birthday season and happy birthday to any of you uh birthdays at the end of november by the way your birthday season is very very powerful your solar return always closes out the last year as you hit your birthday and opens up a next the following year the next 12 months so this 12 months for you as you approach your birthday season has been for many of you quite a struggle a struggle financially a struggle with worry sleepless nights for some of you health issues it's been hard but we are turning the wheel now towards a fresh year, a new beginning for you. And this new beginning is more prosperous, more flow, more success. We have the energy of success here three times because we've got the success card from the angels, the treasure island, which is obviously successful because your treasure is there, the six of wands, which is success and recognition. And we have the death card with the judgment card, this rebirth, this ending of that cycle. They are really wanting you to know that the difficulties, which you've absolutely had because your central energy is that nine of wands, it's been hard work, all right? But that is ending now. We have the Scorpio card for November here, this death, this rebirth. Both of these are saying 
death and rebirth, all right? Judgment is rebirth. So something needs to die for us to be reborn. Something needs to end. And what is ending is that struggle, that struggle. So the six of wands is coming through the nine of wands to death. You've been working on your success, your recognition, to be seen, to be valued, to be noticed. And it's been hard work. People haven't been noticing you, haven't been appreciating you. That is ending now. You're going to start to see a rebirth here coming down this row from the Six of Wands through the Seven of Cups to the Judgment card. We're going to start seeing this rebirth, this new beginning where you are now being seen, you are being noticed, and that is opening up options and choices for you with that Seven of Cups. When we are seen, and we hate to feel invisible, don't we? And we hate to feel like you don't see me, you don't hear me, you're not listening to me. That has been what has created a lot of that anxiety. And it's been hard work and a struggle. But we have now got this new beginning. So Seven of Cups is saying, look, lots of options, lots of choices now. Which one feels right for you? So Seven of Cups going through the Nine of Wands to the Five of Coins is saying, I have felt left out. I have felt unsupported. I have felt a struggle with money. It's been hard work, but I can now start to let that go, the Death card, and ending that. Now, the Hanging Man through the Five of Coins to the Death card is saying, look, You've been waiting for this. Sometimes you've been struggling and resisting and fighting against it. Other times you've just sat back and waited patiently for things to shift and change. A lot of this with the five of coins, I feel, I just feel a lot of aloneness around you, lack of support, lack of care, lack of recognition, lack of people giving you any help. You know, you having to do it all by yourself always. And it's like, that's hard work. And that's what's wanting to come to an end here. The High Priestess over the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords is saying it's time now to let your inner guidance guide you towards easier times and that treasure island, to guide you towards your success. We're wanting to shift forward here and we need to allow what wants to close out to close out so that we have that new beginning, the rebirth there with the Judgment card. It's a, a huge shift, which is perfect around birthday time. But the shift is very positive towards your treasure, towards success. This is what is coming in for you now. Life is going to get easier. We're ending that struggle. All right, let's find out some more. Ace of Cups. Nine of Swords again. Knight of Pentacles. Temperance. Queen of Swords and the Hermit. Okay, again, lots of major arcana cards here with the Temperance and the Hermit. So, right, Ace of Cups, your new beginning, your New Year's Day, which is your birthday, a fresh start. So what we want to do is let go of previous worries, anxieties, things that have been keeping you awake at night. You've got that Nine of Swords twice. So this is saying it has been hard and it has got to you at times. That's all right. You're human. Of course, things get to you when they have been difficult and a struggle. But we want to start shifting that. Now, it's going to take some time to really bring in everything that you want. The Knight of Coins is slow, steady, wins the race. We're not going to turn it around overnight. But we have the new beginning starting now. But to get everything that you want to your treasure could be several months. But we're moving towards that gradually, steadily, confidently. Confidently is a strong word coming through here. So know that this struggle, this last year that has been for many of you such a challenge, is closing out and we're now moving towards balance. We've got temperance, queen of swords and the hermit. So temperance is everything coming into moderation now, everything coming into equilibrium. There is some truth here as well. Queen of Swords on top of the Nine of Wands and the Five of Coins is saying, I need to be really honest with myself and recognise what has got to me, how badly it's got to me, 
and what I can then do about it because she's a very powerful woman, the Queen of Swords, and I can start to move towards what I really want. So as I'm being honest here, Queen of Swords, with myself, the Hermit, these three energies here of truth, clarity into me, right? What do I really feel about this? What do I really want? I want my treasure. What does that look like for me? Is it love? Is it money? Is it support and connections? Is it family? What is the treasure for you? Is it a great new job? Is it moving to a different country? Whatever you want, what is that treasure for you? Because you're asking yourself with the hermit, what am I prepared to change and what am I prepared to let go of? It's on the death card. So you're looking at yourself and saying, what am I prepared to just move away from now? a fresh start, a new beginning. It wants to come in and it's extraordinarily successful. You've got this, it's a big shift moving you now towards this new beginning um, and an end to that struggle that you've been going through. So Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.